Hello everyone, Segmentator here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. You may notice we're in a different place where we left off. That's because I've been doing some side missions. And I've officially now collected all of the collectibles, so we don't have to worry about those anymore. Uh, there's another side quest I stumbled upon so we've got probably have, we'll have to do that I'm now at a high enough level so we can do that one as well for the DLC that was included but for now let's get this ancient armory out the way now I've finally found the power cell for it Do I draw someone's attention? You okay there, uh, uh, Aloy? Oh no, that's not a thing. Oh, I vaguely remember this now. Ultra Weave? Use numbers like this to indicate time. So twelve, three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five. And midnight. Okay, so twelve three is maybe there's some more information nearby. Something that will tell me how this works. Six so I I think I've got it. And then nine. Here we go. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. I imagine so. Ah, there's a thing over here. Just need to install these power cells. These numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. Do I need I need to find more power cells. You may come all this way to go and find more power cells. I am not impressed, game. <sighs> God damn it. Oh well. Some side quests here. Let's go see what these guys want. Oh, you're up here. Hello. That brave. Sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you. 
Nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream willow to ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along Brave Trails to the east, but... I must keep vigil for this man. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little dream willow would ease his pain. You said that you, um, wanted to be strong, like me. I take it you know who I am? I do. I know a lot of people didn't want you in the proving. If you hadn't been there, everyone would have died. Shows how much we know. The very person we needed was someone the tribe never wanted. I wish I could borrow some of your courage now. For him. You don't need to borrow what you already have. I hope you're right. How did the man you're caring for get hurt? He was one of the war party. Wounded in battle down the ridge there. He was too weak to be carried back to Mother's heart. So they brought him here. I'm supposed to comfort him, but all I can do is whisper. Tell him to think of his mother's smile. Could you see the ambush from here? I heard it. Explosions and screams and... and howls of machines like monsters. That's what he keeps groaning and muttering about. Machines like nightmares ripping everyone to shreds. Maybe I could calm him, help him forget all that, and go to all mother in peace. Tell me what you need again. Dream willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows that brings sleep and numbs pain. My supply is gone, but hunters keep it in stashes along brave trails, out of reach of beasts and machines. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. You're young for a healer, aren't you? Yes. I'm still learning the basics. But all the true healers are busy in Mother's heart. Besides, this brave is beyond healing. What he needs is someone to stay with him. And that, I can do. I'll check the stashes for Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. Okay, there's one, and there's another one over here. What do you require, sir? Oh, it's you. You're Aloy, aren't you? Everyone's talking about your victory at Devil's Grief. I, I feel blessed to stand in your presence. There's no need to fuss over me. Who are you praying for? My, my sister, Nicola. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid. One of the captains of the Red Raids. I'm worried about her. Did the Matriarchs really give Nicola permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaidi. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. Nicola saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. He changed her. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. But the matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicola. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nicola to stay so she could avoid that thing. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems... cruel. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred land, but I just need to know that she's alright. She must have passed through Mother's crown. My aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. Maybe. Alright, we've got two new quests. That's the Braves. Wow! 
I've really ignored these ones. Alright. Where's the closest campfire to you? Oh, there's two caches. First one's up here. The brave trail. Should be a cache of Drumo up there. Now climb the tree or do I need to go along the rope? Along the rope it is. Oh, that way. There you go. Much. Keep my eyes open. Oh, don't worry, I can hear that. I'll avoid them for now. I do have some new weapons I can use, but I'd rather avoid unnecessary battles if I can. Up there. Hey. Okay. Might be a cache of dream along that brave trail. Okay, how do I get to it? Ah, I see. Ah, I see. That's not what I wanted to happen. Alright. That was there to trick me. No. Okay, well, that's not going to be a great deal of comfort to her. Uh, let's wait. You're back. I've already been to those stashes. All I found was a few shards. That's strange. Would have taken the dream willow. It's possible that Jun has gathered more. You could ask him if you're willing to make the journey. You say someone named Jun might have some dream willow? Yes. He may be a recluse, but he helps the tribe by picking herbs and brewing medicines. The problem is that he lives west of Mother's Crown, and the machines in that region are troublesome. What sort of machines? Scrappers and sawtooths. It's quite dangerous. Ah, uh, they're they're old hat these days. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. All right. Bloody hell! I know you said he was a recluse, but Jesus, man. Although, truth be told, that would be my ideal living situation. Which way? This way. Hey, turkey.
We're out the way. Oh, that's way down, so it's not going to let me get back up. Ugh. The long route it is. Of course they've seen us. I love this weapon. No fuss, no muss. Uh, John's up here somewhere. I discovered a campfire apparently. So you saw me getting back up here easier, at least. I'm locked in. Someone. Is someone there? Yeah. Hello. All oh, mother be praised. I thought I'd never be freed. What happened? A gang of outcasts, that's what. They burst in, stole my dream willow, and left me to die. A gang of outcasts? Yes, a gang. The door crashed open. I didn't stand a chance. They grabbed my dream willow and left me for dead. Why would outcasts steal your dream willow? Why? Because it's the most valuable herb I gather, of course. Miserable thieves. They took nothing else? No. Mark my words. They have struck a deal with outsiders. It's shards they're after, and they'll kill to get it. Which way did the outcasts go? Up the mountain, I think. You might catch them if you hurry. Whatever you do, don't let their shabby looks fool you. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. Oh. I need to catch my breath. Yeah, you could stop talking for a start. <coughs> All right. The outcasts must have left tracks. My focus should pick them up. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Well, this one's hard to see against the against the frost. That's better. If the gratitude of outcasts means anything to you. It does. You not only save us, but speak to us. The matriarchs cast me out at birth. The laws of the Nora don't mean much to me. And you're that girl whose mother never claimed her. But an outcast no longer. No. A seeker, in fact. Looking for Dream Willow. Hmm. That could be a problem. Why did you take the Dream Willow? Because we have wounded. Why else would we take it? Something terrible has happened to the tribe. The braves offer no protection. The machines are angry and bandits infest the sacred land and prey upon us. Why else would outcasts break custom and band together but that we have no choice? Even so, we did not steal. We left shards in the stashes and tried to pay John. But of course he would not speak to us. What? crimes did you and the others commit? I beat a man who stole my kill. 
It was my wrong. The others stole, broke custom, or trespassed among the bones of the metal world. No murderers here, if that's what you're asking. Jun said you roughed him up. He was too busy cringing to know what happened. The man's a coward. We made sure not to hurt him, not that he seemed to notice. There are others who need Dream Willow. You can't have all of it. You asking or demanding? Talking. One person to another. I see. Perhaps we have more than we need. After everything that happened, we were afraid. We took all we could find. Here. I'll keep a portion, but the rest... May it find its way to those who need it. I'll see that it does. In the meantime, stay safe. And stick together. Ah, oh, that was... What, amicable? Alright. Back to Jun. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Nope. Luckily I realised. Hey, Jen. Here's the Dream Willow. Take it to Fia and Mother's Rise. There are wounded braves there who need it badly. I will. But what became of the outcasts? Did those wretches pay for their crimes? Ganging up together, speaking to each other, and to us. I hope you showed them no mercy. You don't know who I am, do you? Should I? I was raised as an outcast in the mountains above Mother's heart. The motherless girl. If I'd known, I never would have spoken to you. And yet it's this motherless girl who freed you and recovered your dream willow for the tribe. Maybe if you judged people less, you wouldn't be so lonely. I have no need of others. Then congratulations, Jun. You've managed to shun yourself. I'm done here. Make sure that Fia gets that dream willow. Or I'll be back. That's him told. Alright. What's this one over here? What the hell is this? Clear out the bandit camp. Beat the trial of the hunting grounds. What? No, we're not doing that one yet. Mother's Vengeance. That's the one we're doing first. I know there's a couple more side quests uh, at Meridian as well. So I should be around here somewhere. Oh, hello. Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nakoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nakoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nakoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, 
Part of me wanted her too. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. She can't come back. The Matriarchs won't allow it. But I'd be so grateful if you could find her and help her if she needs it. And please, keep this between us. I will. I promise. Alright, off to Day Tower then. All the way over here, bloody hell. Well, now I can dedicate more time to getting these side quests out of the way now that all the collectibles are done. That's a good thing. I don't know how close we are to the end game story wise, but I've, we're definitely closer to the end than we were a while ago. I don't know why I said that. That's dumb. Of course we're closer to the end than we were before. Excuse me, than we were before. I am not a wordsmith. Watch out for the Asuram merchants. They'll as soon cheat you as look at you. Sure they will. Take a look at these wares. Would you like to buy something today? Well, there's Zaid. Any work done under the sun warms you. Are you in charge here? No. That would be Captain Balan. I'm his second in command, Prefect Zaid. Wait, you're Zaid? Ah, you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here? You mean Nakoa? Is that her name? Oh well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nakoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Bloody hell, now I've got to go all the way over here. Oh, a campfire I haven't uh, switched on. But I'm not going to risk this becoming another extended episode. So when this decides to load, in your own time, game, come on. Right, I'm going to end this episode here. 
Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.